And right now at noon, a close call today for a police lieutenant in northwest Miami-Dade. He was nearly shot after someone opened fire on his car at an intersection. Local 10 News reporter Madeline Wright joins us live from the scene. And she has the very latest on the search for the gunman there. Madeline. Christy, Janice, it was a scary situation that Miami-Dade police lieutenant narrowly avoided being shot after someone started opening fire on his vehicle right here at this intersection. Detectives believe that at least two people in the car were shooting at the lieutenant because multiple types of rounds were recovered at the scene. Miami-Dade detectives are searching for the gunman who opened fire on a police lieutenant in his unmarked Chevrolet Malibu, damaging his bumper and blowing out his front tires. These are uh, brazen individuals who are considered armed and dangerous. It all started around 3.30 this morning in the Brownsville neighborhood of Northwest Miami-Dade. An anonymous 911 call came in that there were four guys armed with handguns driving around in a white sedan at Northwest 22nd Avenue and Northwest 46th Street. The officer heard the call come out and he observed the vehicle with the description of the initial call and then he started following the car. Once they turned on 24th Avenue and approaching 48th Street, uh, this vehicle immediately began firing out the officer's direction. Miraculously, the officer wasn't hurt. He even drove after the suspects, but he didn't get far because of his flat tires. He's probably the luckiest guy right now. He he's, was struck, uh, his vehicle was struck. There was multiple rounds on the floor. Um, this, this Again, we could have been uh, preparing a funeral right now for this officer. The shooting happened right next to Brownsville Middle School, where students heading to class this morning are just finding out about it. They should like stop the violence because he could have he could have got like hurt or something. And I think like that's crazy because like, it's right by my school too, the school I go to every day. Back live, the department's Psychological Services Bureau is offering support to the lieutenant who is said to be in good spirits. If you have any information on the identity or whereabouts of the gunman, police want you to give them a call. Live in Northwest Miami-Dade, Madeline Wright, Local 10 News.